Okay. So our candidate is oh let me fix okay. So our candidate is x i x hat equals attack where x hat i the i term in this sequence. Uh, let's see. Equals for x x i. Equals the limit of the sequence is with fixed um, with fixed i components as k approaches infinity. So let's okay. So in other words, it's the limits of the columns because the col because remember the sequence we just showed was a Cauchy sequence, so it converges in the reals. Okay, let's go. So. Now we want to show that if we, uh, supremal norm x hat minus x i let's call let's say i term the sequence is less than epsilon whatever n i is greater than n. Let's hope. Okay. So, what do we do? Well, first, let's write this out, what this says. Well, first, let's compute. Actually, the v, uh, supreme norm, what does this guy look like? This guy looks like soup of all k in n of x minus xi at k. So, what's the first thing that we ask? So first we do, remember, when we look at x minus xi at k, we know x minus xi is for fixed k. That this guy, oh wait, this is x hat, my bad. This guy, by construction, xi approaches Except when k is wait actually um it's i which is k from size sequence size yeah k is fixed we fix k remember x i approaches x i k approaches x at k. So, this means whenever whenever not, let's put this right here. I need a bigger board. So, whenever n is greater than n2 We say, because by construction, x hat at k minus x i at k, that the x the sequence x i whatever i is greater than n two. Kth element, kth element, is going to be absolute value of this is going to be less than let's say epsilon over two. Good. Good. Now we take the supremum because this is for true for any k. And actually, n2 is a function of k. So, now, we take the supremum. So this guy, actually, yeah. So this guy, the supremum of let's see, k in n. So we're going to take the supremum over all these guys x minus x i k okay it's equal to it's less than or equal to we take the super both sides this guy is going to become less than or equal to epsilon over 2 and this guy is less than epsilon 
So this essentially says, whatever. Why is a function, why is greater than that? Okay, I think I made a mistake. But for now, I'm just going to record this, put it on the internet once, and I'm going to try to redo this proof in a few weeks. But actually, I want to say, but whenever, whenever i is greater than that, but the thing is, I don't want it to be a function of k. Oh. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second. <laughs>